and I, one of the things I want to bring up to you and highlight is the fact that he noted that this should have been done a long time ago. And that is the focus here, is the issue of, of appeasement of Iran, and also the Democrats and their attitude toward this dynamic. That the Democrats are saying that this action is an escalation. You've been seeing that word in, in headlines. Nancy Pelosi's been saying it. All the Democrats are saying it. Effectively, they're, they're trying to uh, uh, paint the president as, as a maniac. Right, but here's uh, why what he did was so important and why it matters, is that this Suleiman guy has been operating for years and years and years, decades, at creating and uh, promoting and distributing the terrorist framework that Iran has been relying on now for over 40 years. Just to give you an idea of the nature of some of the uh, hostile acts by Iran, in November 1979. The U.S. Embassy in Tehran was seized. 52 Americans were taken hostage for 444 days. In October of 1983, the Beirut barracks bombings killed 300-plus of our Marines. September 2019, a drone attack on a Saudi oil facility, and of course at least 600 U.S. troops, at least, killed by Iran-backed militias in Iraq since 2003. When you hear Democrats and they say this is an escalation. Let me just make a point on that as well. When you do nothing about something like a cancer like Soleimani and the spread of terrorism and you know what is going on, or when you do nothing or when you in fact appease that regime and give them money, uh, you are in fact creating what is essentially an endless war. What you're doing and what the, the real uh, escalation is, interestingly enough, is by doing nothing to stop the cancer, right? Keep that in mind. The escalation is in allowing this to continue. What President Trump did, and he noted it in his statements, and it becomes very clear, he did this in, in this uh, targeted removal, uh, was to in fact stop a war as the plans were being developed to do more. The State Department, the Pentagon, uh, uh, the international uh, scene agrees that this is a dynamic that was being uh, promoted and planned on, not just now, but for decades.